Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. So if you're tired of kind of seeing the same layout over and over again, all your Blazor applications, and you want to change it up without having to doing anything and then look like this, uh, we're actually not going to do that in this video. Uh, we're going to look at Model Blazor, but this is a template that they give you. You can download it from their GitHub and st get started. But today we're actually just going to grab this kind of like same application. And we're gonna do change installing the uh, mod blazer nougat package and using the first component that it's gonna be the table to make the fetch data look nicer and we're gonna keep doing this with all the different blazer components and at the end i'm comp gonna compare them between all of them to see which one is faster which one i think it looks better so make sure to subscribe and check out those videos so now let's get started all right, so the first thing would be downloading the Nougat package. I already went ahead and did it, so I'm just gonna walk you through how to do it. So in here, you just search for it. And as you can see it here, it's uh, just mod blazer. And you can also do it here in Packet Manager if you like typing in console, or you can do it in PowerShell with .NET Add. So now that you have done that, you gotta go to imports and add the mod blazer. And all this code is going to be in GitHub down in the description, so make sure to check it out. And then in main layout, we have to add these three things. So mod theme provider, dialog provider, and snack bar provider. So this is for the different components that you might use. Then in Blazor WebAssembly, which was a case uh, that we're doing here, uh, when you install the Nougat package, it will add the styles, and then you just have to add these two and you have to add this uh, JavaScript one in the body. So it's important to note that these two are in the head and this one is in the body. And then in program.cs, you just add the using statement and you add the services that add mod blazer service. And that's basically it. After that, you can start using all the components and I'm just gonna show you real quick the components they offer. And all this information is also in their site and getting started it will guide you through it but it won't have my beautiful voice and here you can see all the different components their alerts are one of my favorite ones the app bar is the one that i showed you that they put in the template um, their avatars and so on and today we're actually going to look at table so I went ahead and kind of like did it because basically how you start using this once it's pretty cool. So you find the one that you like. So for example, the, there's this table that it's kind of like the simple one. You can just click here and it will show you the code and then you just copy and paste it and, and modify it to whatever you want to do. This one, for example, has a search bar. The one that I ended up using for this one is this one that has sorting. So that's something that it kind of gives you for free by just adding a few extra lines. So in here, basically the only difference from this one and the top one is that it doesn't have the sorting thing that, it, that you pass here. So you do the sort label, sort by, then this is the, so in here it's element because it's called element, but it would be whatever object your table has. And then by the object, the, by the field that you wanna order and you can actually add the initial direction. So if you want ascending or descending by default, you can add that as well. So I'm already went ahead and I put it in the fetch data one. You can see it here that we have all, all the tables. So I have the forecasts and I'm doing the sorting. And then I'm just, uh, when you're doing the row part, you have to tell it which label it goes with. So this one goes with date and that it's up here date. And this one goes with temperature and so on. So that's basically all I did. Then I put a little space and then I left the default. So we can see kind of the difference between one table and the other table. So now let's, let's go ahead and, and do it. And another thing I added, um, I used the progress line one. So when it's loading, usually the blazer one just says loading dot, dot, dot. This one, I just added a, a cute little progress bar. All right, so we're back here and now we're just gonna go to fetch data. And it was pretty quick, but I don't know if you saw. Here's the progress bar that it was loading and then it loaded really quick. Uh, and this is the difference. So this is the default that you get. So there, there's no sorting, there's no hover. It's flat, like it doesn't have this little border thing. And this one, it gives you the hover, it gives you the, the sorting, 
So it gives you a lot of little things by just doing this five minute things. And as you saw, there's cool buttons and cool things. So you should definitely check it out. It's open source. So go check out Mod Blazer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.